Hey guys, I'm at 16th at almost 7 o'clock. So now I'm kind of getting up and <laughs> But sleep. So I think I've been walking around 5, 6, 7, at least 2 hours trying to find Bud. <laughs> I spotted him once, and then my family said they saw him. But then he ran off. So, uh, I knew I should, part of me kind of was worried about this happening, which is why I didn't really want to get him on the leash. But at the same time, I kind of want him to feel like every time he goes outside, it's a good thing. And then if I put his leash on when he's in the cat carrier and I put him out and then I let him out, then he won't be so scared when I go to the vet. But <laughs> this happens. So he was fine for like the first ten minutes, like I keep saying. And then I show and then I was gonna bring him back in but then he saw the family cat and then they didn't fight but I haven't heard any cat fights lately, so that's a good sign. Uh but it's starting to get late, so it's worrying me a little bit. I think he'll know his way though by the scent. Because most cats do. And especially when he gets hungry, he'll be like, I want food. And he knows where to go to get food, so. I just can't believe I can't even find him anywhere. I've been looking in between bushes. I've been looking in neighbor's yards. And I did, like I said, I saw him once and he ran away. <laughs> and I haven't seen him since then, so. He must be hiding somewhere. But, I have so much other things to do today, and now I've been walking around looking for blood for the past, but my feet are so sore right now. Ah, well, if he does come back, he's definitely not going out for a long time. Not after this stunt. Like I said, for the first few minutes, he was pretty cool. He was uh, pretty cool about it in the backyard. He was like, yay, I'm having so much fun. And he tries to get off the leash. <laughs> he did, it was kind of a hassle getting the leash on him, but then once he knew he was going outside, he was fine with it. Because he was like, I knew he wanted it. But only if he's on the leash. This happened with my other cats, too, when I trained them. They got off the leash, and then they came back on their own. So... Maybe because they, they know where to get the food. <laughs> That's why I got it's happened before. Both Josephine and Speckles. Speckles, too. And hope, but this is why I don't want him out late. But it's so funny, because I've been <laughs> doing the treat sounds. So all these cats are coming up to me. <laughs> Family's cat. Uh, there's a cat that's a neighbor's cat that came in front of the, its door because it's inside, looking like oh, I hear some I hear treats. <laughs> and Nelson Bandit I saw. So they're they're all outside and there hasn't been any cat bites. So I guess that's a good thing. But my legs are starting to hurt. But they're calling my brother, bud, bud, treats, food. <laughs> I don't know where the hell he is. <clears throat> but I know what, he doesn't know how to survive outside, so, like I said, but I'm pretty sure as soon as he gets hungry, he's going to go back on his own. Because he always wants food. I did have a wet dish outside for a while, but then flies were going at it, so... But I did have my door open, so he could go in on his own. <sighs> I don't even know where to look at anymore at this point. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't go that far, though, because... Like I said, he's scared of people and, and noise and stuff like that. So it's like, why would he go anywhere else? 
but in the one block. Basically, like the neighbor's yard. He's just probably hiding really, really good. <laughs> but yeah, but there's no point of having a search party because if he sees people, he's just gonna run. Other than me. Actually, he did run when I called him, so... <laughs> I don't know. I think it's because he knew that he was in trouble. But... I'm very really sure, like I said, when he gets hungry, he'll come back. Because how else is he going to eat? But now I'm just trying to get a little worried, so I'm not really doing anything except for... Waiting around outside. Last I heard, he had a standoff with one of the cats. <laughs> but they didn't fight. But then he ran into the uh, neighbor's yard and I didn't see him. So, must still be in the area. Uh, so, yeah, no vlogs today <laughs> until Bud's found. Jeez, I did one nice thing for Bud, and this is what he does. How rude. <laughs> How rude, Tannerina Moose. So yeah, I haven't eaten anything either. I just had, but I just have two cupcakes without the frosting. And I've been walking around eating it. So. <sighs> but I'm too tired to walk anymore. So I'm just standing just in case I see him outside somewhere. We'll go back this way, closer to my place. It's going to be hard finding him though after dark, so that's the other thing too. Although his eyes are pretty bright, so it would be easier to spot in the dark. But he's got to get hungry soon because he eats a lot. <laughs> that's why though, because people are looking at me like I'm weird. <laughs> Again, people the yards, I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find my cat. <sighs> I can't walk anymore. It hurts too much. <sighs> so yeah, I can't do any cooking, can't do any cleaning, can't do nothing until a bug comes on. Hopefully on his own. Like I keep saying, he's pretty scared of people, so I'm pretty sure he wouldn't like take off and then come back because he's too scared to do that. I'll record till it's 10 minutes. <laughs> I tried to go very, very slow in case sort of I notice him. Corner of my eye. I think he's just hiding somewhere. So I keep looking in people's bushes. <laughs> yeah. That's why I had a temptation treat. So something that I like to point out like, oh, you're looking in my, you're looking in my yellow. <laughs> I 
Mm. Look, keep him in your prayers that he'll come back on his own because he needs food. Because <laughs> I can't walk anymore. <sighs> So yeah, at least there's no, at least there's no cat fights, and all the cats are out too, so I know he's not, uh, fighting with anyone. He's just hiding, because I'm pretty sure he knows the scents. Uh, cats find their way back on their own. Uh, they even said that there's a family that had... A cat and it returned like 15 years later. Crazy, 15 years later, it came back on its own. <laughs> I don't want it to be that long though. So, yeah, just walking around. Uh, I shouldn't have brought him out. Try to just do something nice for him. Cause I kept feeling bad that he's looking out the window. But every time that I come in, he's like, no, cause he wants to go outside. I go, okay, if you go on the leash, you can go outside. But then he gets off the leash. <laughs> Now I'm just standing, I can't walk anymore. <sighs> little boot, little devil. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm just going to sit outside at my door and hope that he comes. <laughs> I don't think I could walk anymore. So, keep him in your prayers. Come on, I've been praying too. I've been saying, God, make him come home on his own because he wants food. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later and keep you guys posted. I need to wash them, too. <laughs> Hopefully, Bed will be home in a couple of hours.